This government wanted to impose this card permanently on thousands of Australians without even waiting for the evidence. Perhaps that's because they knew the evidence just wasn't there. The report, the long-awaited report, was finally released last week into the cashless debit card, which is inclusive on whether it reduces harm from alcohol, drugs and gambling, but it's found that people on the welfare cards are ashamed and embarrassed. The report, conducted by the University of Adelaide and commissioned by the Federal Department of Social Services, looked at how the program had impacted participants in the communities of Sejuna in South Australia and the East Kimberley and Goldfields in Western Australia, where the card has been trialled. Commissioned in 2018, the University of Adelaide's report on the cashless debit card looked at whether alcohol and drug use, violence and gambling reduced during trials of the card in Sejuna, East Kimberley and the Goldfields, but the study found no conclusive evidence in relation to those issues. So the report tells us nothing we didn't know and is a complete waste of time and money. Yet this government continues to put its head in the sand over this issue. And why is that? Why is the government so hell-bent on inflicting heavy-handed punishing policy on welfare recipients? I'll tell you why. Because demonising and degrading people who find themselves in positions where they can't work or find work, who are in tough times and need support, is part of this government's DNA. And we saw that clearly yesterday with the disgusting social media comments, in particular made by the member for Bowman, Andrew Lamming MP. While he was supposedly at work in the other place on the taxpayer dime, this person was busy making comments on the social media pages of groups who oppose the CDC. And I quote from the member's posts, this card is merely to prohibit sinful activities." End of quote. That's how this government regards those Australians who have fallen on tough times, those who rely on disability pensions, young people, single parents, pensioners, that being poor is a sin, according to Mr Lamming. Not content with labelling people who receive social security payments as sinners, he went on to mock people whose mental health has suffered from the punitive policies of his government. All that money they can't spend on alcohol, gambling and drugs, keen to meet that person for whom their mental health is affected, send them to my office, keen to do an intro. But he hasn't stopped there. And he went on to suggest young people would spend all their payments on alcohol or drugs. Why am I telling the Senate this? Because we do expect senators and members of the House of Representatives to hold a high standard. People who are vulnerable in our society certainly don't deserve to be stigmatised even more by their, fed, by their federal representatives. We don't know the reasons why so many people are vulnerable in our country or their personal stories as to why they've had to fall on hard times or why it is that they need to rely on Commonwealth support. We don't need to know the ins and outs of their personal reasons, but we certainly need to know how to behave and how to respond genuinely and sincerely in trying to address the issues in a practical way and in a respectful way. Acting Madam Deputy President, I certainly call on Mr Lamming to apologise to those vulnerable Australians who have been hurt and stigmatised by those unnecessary comments. And certainly on behalf of the 23,000 Territorians who have been characterised as sinners, drug takers and alcoholics, I demand that he apologises for those comments and actually maybe look at this issue more pragmatically, respectfully and put forward the arguments in a way that actually support whatever it is his government wants to do without stigmatising further those groups who obviously through this report of the Adelaide University have already identified 
are embarrassed enough that they do need to rely on welfare. If a community genuinely wants to use this uh, cashless debit card, they should be properly consulted and provided with the necessary supports. I understand that that still is not occurring. Labor is certainly not opposed to income management in all circumstances, but we are opposed to the broad-based compulsory programs that ensnare and disempower all people. And we are opposed to this government's approach of punishing and deriding and further stigmatising people who do live in poverty in our country.